Video games adaptation to the live action proved worth it, that is, if you do things right. Much like what the third movie from the Mortal Kombat franchise did, a reboot that by the looks of things could set up a cinematic universe, especially after the announcements about a sequel already in the making, which was more than enough for me to start digging and give you a first look into things, and tell you everything I know so far regarding it. So without further ado, let's dive right in. I'm not your enemy, I'm Liu Kang, from the Shaolin Order of Light. Master. Sub-Zero tracked and killed another one of them. Over the last couple of years, you must have noticed that many video games were adapted into live-action movies or TV shows. Prime examples are The Witcher, Assassin's Creed, Sonic, and many more. And one of the latest video games to get adapted into live-action with a sequel nonetheless is Mortal Kombat, a franchise that even to this day is one of the most popular games out there. And I'm not surprised at all to see the Mortal Kombat reboot movie getting a sequel, especially after the Easter eggs given to us in the closing scenes of the first movie but more on that later. The Mortal Kombat movie from Warner Brothers was in fact not the second but rather the third movie from the franchise and finally a movie that probably set the groundwork for many things, simply because it was done way better than the previous two. The movie fixed many of the issues from the original, a cult classic and the more problematic sequel Annihilation from 1997. Send in the reptilian Sizoth. One of the key things that the movie did very well was to live up to the promise of it being an R-rating movie and to stick on a faithful adaptation that would present the iconic characters in the best light possible, bring them to life, everything in order to expand the lore with introductions to new characters like Cole Young, the protagonist of the first movie, and a character who surprisingly became a point of speculation ahead of the movie's release, but I'm more than sure that I'm grateful everything went well. Right from the start of the movie, you could see the potential of it and how it can certainly serve as the starting point of an expansion aka multiple sequels following it, not to mention all the spin-offs because let's face it, there's more than enough source material for the writers to go on. You think these tricks will protect you forever? When the movie ended, there were a lot of speculation and rumors regarding the sequel of the movie and whether the franchise will have one in the first place. Well, in July 2022, it was confirmed that the director of the first movie, Simon McCoy, is returning to helm a sequel to the Mortal Kombat movie, with the working title as of then being Mortal Kombat 2, nothing else. This great news was followed by yet another important member of the franchise, Louis Stan, who portrayed the role of Cole Young in the first movie and confirmed of returning for the sequel as well. He also added that seeing the scope of training and everything that has been going on as of late, he is more than certain that the sequel will be, and I quote, absolutely insane and way bigger than the first movie. The other great news about the sequel was that the script has already been started and that Jeremy Slater, the head writer of the sequel, is having a lot of fun during the entire process. The other person working behind the scenes of the upcoming sequel, who already hit that like button, just like you should do if you haven't done so already, but no, in reality, another person who is also having fun during the making of the movie is Ed Boon the one who'll be more involved in the sequel, when compared to the first movie, because I'm sure that he'll be bringing all the experience he has from his career so far, the only thing that is quite a mystery is the release date of the sequel, and when it could hit the big screens. The first movie took decades to get to the screen, with the whole COVID-19 pandemic situation delaying things even further. Hence, there's not so much going on regarding the filming process of the sequel and how long it would take. However, seeing how things have picked up pace over the last year, you shouldn't be surprised to see the Mortal Kombat 2 movie as soon as early months of 2024. Yeah, you heard me right. This is my opinion, but feel free to drop a comment below and tell me what do you think when the sequel will release. One of the burning questions among the fans is who will take the stage in the sequel, and who will be the actors to star in those roles? Well, to be honest, there is not much to say about the actors that will fill the roles outside of Louis Tan, simply because there is nothing regarding that. However, there have been some confirmed characters to appear in the sequel, as well as some others that have been rumored quite often as of late. The two first confirmed characters were Cole Young, the new protagonist of the franchise, as well as Johnny Cage. These two were joined by another list of confirmed characters which included the likes of Raiden, the God of Thunder, Liu Kang, the greatest warrior and champion of Earthrealm, Sonya Blade, the military officer of the scene, and last but not least, Jax Briggs, the Mad One. Like me, you had a mocking, so I chose to take it from you. One of the latest characters to be confirmed is Shang Tsung, 
who will make a second appearance in the franchise, however this time around he'll have to replace his force and find a new team to fight by his side, seeing how he was the only survivor of the first movie on the antagonist side of things, in the first movie there was a hero casualty as well, the Kong Lao being the one to fall, with Scorpion departing after achieving his revenge. Based on how the first movie turned out in the characters department, you should be expecting a plethora of characters from the Mortal Kombat mythos to appear in the sequel, and my guesses are that the Edenian Princess Kitana, as well as the likes of Jade, another close of Melina, are big contenders for the second iteration of Hang Tsung's team. Other characters that could also appear would be the corrupt Lin Ku clan and their newest mechanized cyborg ninja Kano. Along with these characters, there's also a chance that you could see the likes of Baraka, an outworld character who specializes in long metal blades, Shiva, the lone female representative of the four armed race, who made her debut after Goro, and Kintaro, two characters from her species, with the latter also expected to appear in the upcoming sequel. Outside of these characters, the others who'll smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell, but no, rather appear in the sequel, are Dead Sub Zero possibly returning as Noob Sabot, prompting Scorpion's return, and a new and more heroic Sub Zero when compared to the first. You again. It's clear that the sequel has no shortage of characters to work with, of course, as long as no significant changes are made. The Earthrealm combatants will recruit Johnny Cage and continue with the Mortal Kombat tournament. Much of the training of the combatants is complete, so the sequel will be prepared to quickly transition to the main event, with it having a high chance of being held in a secluded location, recalling Shang Tsung Island from the original Mortal Kombat game. There are some individual character arcs that are still unclear, especially since the final cast list has not been confirmed. Either way, Johnny Cage will likely fill in the role of a naive newcomer, while also providing the comic relief he's known for in the games. Cole, Liu Kang, and Sonya will likely engage in a leadership argument because all of them feel responsible for taking care of them, with Liu Kang probably having the most motivation to do so because of Kung Lao's death. There might also be some room for a romantic minute or two with Liu Kang and Johnny Cage beginning their romantic arcs with Kitana and Sonya respectively. The tournament is held to guarantee the safety of Earthrealm and the movie will be all about it, and the climactic final battle with Shang Tsung, despite possibly ending with a victory, will surely not guarantee Earthrealm's safety. See you in the next video.